Welcome to RC Scientific. Why do RC model car movements usually look so unrealistic? The cars shake and rock so fast, they literally vibrate. The smaller the car, the worse it appears. In this video we will find out why and suggest what we can do against it. When cars move while driving, many parts do oscillate. The cars swing up and down due to their suspension system. Some parts swing from left to right, such as rubber mud flaps, antennas, any other movable accessories or elements of the environment. The frequency of such movements is independent from the amplitude of the oscillations and it does also not depend on the mass of the moving object. The frequency depends only on the size or length of the oscillating pendulum. The frequency of the small pendulum is x times faster than the one of the large pendulum. If you want to make the small pendulum move like a large one, we have to slow it down. Therefore, the movie of the miniaturized model must get x times slower than the one of the real-sized original. Consequently, the factor x can be computed by the ratio of the cycle times of the model and the original. With some physics and maths shown later, we can obtain the factor x by computing the square root of the scale of the RC model. This table shows which factor you need to take for the corresponding scale of your RC model car. Now we present some downslowed footage using the factors presented before and compare them with the real-time recordings. Next, we explain how we obtained the equation for the slowed down factor x. The oscillation can be expressed by a simple pendulum equation with t as the time of one cycle, also called the period, l the length of the pendulum and g the gravity acceleration. This equation is valid for small oscillation angles. The pendulum equation can be used to express the cycle times in the model and the original using the characteristic lengths in the dimensions of the model and the original respectively. Remember, the factor x is the ratio between the cycle times of the RC model and the corresponding original. Inserting the pendulum equations into that fraction and shortening some of the parameters and numbers, we obtain the square root of the ratio of the characteristic lengths of the model and the original. And this ratio has the same meaning as the geometric scale of the RC model. For example, using an RC model in a scale of 1 to 10, we obtain a factor of 0.32. And this is the value we have to use in order to slow down footage that is comprising a 1 to 10 scaled model. If you're using another scale, you can take the corresponding factor out of this table. But be careful when slowing down your movie too much. Be sure that the frame rate of the original footage is not too slow. Otherwise, the downscale version of your footage will get flickering and blurry. I hope you enjoyed this video and can use my tips for your projects. Thanks for watching.